Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explore running a PCIe 4 M.2 SSD on an external Thunderbolt uh, kit. So what we have here is a MIWO, M-A-I-W-O, never heard of the company before, external uh, Thunderbolt kit that we will be installing our silicon power PCIe Gen 4 2280 NVMe M.2 SSD. That's a lot of acronyms, I know. Anyway, we're going to install this uh, SSD into this kit and we're going to do some transfer speeds. Now, from what uh, we can tell, uh, Thunderbolt 4 has a theoretical maximum that's faster than the internal transfer. But practically speaking, you can't get past about a third of what it says because of the way that it's connected on the inside. So, in other words, the Thunderbolt port can do 40 gig per second, but what the Thunderbolt port is then connected to can't. So we're expecting that, um, in theory, this M.2 SSD, if it were inside the unit, inside the laptop we're going to test this on, uh, would run pretty much near its uh, maximum speed of, uh, I think it's about 7,300 gigabit per second transfer. Uh, whereas this uh, external kit, I'm expecting to run about a third of that, 22, 20, maybe 2,800. Uh, so we'll have to take a look. Let's do that right now. So the only thing we've done so far is take the plastic off this. We have not even opened it. So let's open this up. Okay, there's the uh, unit. Let's see how you pop it. Okay, so there's a clip there. Can I do this with my finger? Oh, I can. Great. Okay, so that just pops off with a couple of uh, spring-loaded bumps there that pop into there. There's our M.2 uh, slot. Wonderful. Let's see what else we have. Uh, by the way, you can see what's on the box. Uh, not much. So if you care, there it is. Okay, we have some uh, thermal strips. Uh, those are always handy. We'll leave those for the moment. Put those aside. We have a nice uh, Thunderbolt uh, USB cable. That's good. Uh, garbage. Ah, oh, the screw. That's always handy. And instructions on how to use it. We're not going to bother with that, but I'll open it just so you can see in case there's something you actually care about. Let's open up our M.2 drive. Quote install. And I say quote because not too much to it. It says screws, but I'm guessing it's screw. Oh, these are just rubber. They're not screws. They just pop in. Okay, so I'll actually keep the two extras. So I'll take that out. And this looks like it just screws in. So let me see if I can get that to work. I'm just going to pop it in and screw it down a bit. I know that's hard to see, but that seems to be it. Wow, that's nutty. Not at all what I would have expected. I have not seen that before. Okay, let's plug that in and then this just probably snap, it does just snap down. Okay, that's, I guess how it works. <laughs> Crazy sauce. Okay, let's, uh, this has uh, some tape on it, so let's pull it off and here we go. Put it on the, so let's bring up device manager on our Dell Latitude 5450 with Thunderbolt 4. And I will take our little kit and I'll just plug it into a Thunderbolt port. And, and you can see there it is, wonderful. And let's go into Disk Manager and we'll format it. Oh, there we go, it's found it, that's fine. Sure, format the whole thing, D is fine. Okay, so let's do a semi-scientific test. This is NovaBench and uh, it's asking which drive to test. I'm going to uh, select the external drive first. See what that does. Okay, yeah, that's about the speeds I was considering. As you can see, the external is running at a, uh, an excellent rate. The internal, however, is running at a much slower rate than what we expected, and that's most likely because we just swapped the motherboard out. We had a defective board, and we probably have it configured for the wrong PCI or something. We'll deal with that later. The point of this video is to show how fast the Thunderbolt connection is on the USB. Uh, let's run an informal test where we're actually copying files. Okay, so you can see I have an ISO here that's about 5 meg in size. I've copied it many times. I've zipped it a bunch of times to make files larger. And when all told, I've got 20.1 gig. And what I'm going to do is an ad hoc semi-scientific test where I'm going to copy all of these files and I'll put it first uh, to, an, to the internal drive. And it's cleverly called internal test. I'm going to right click and paste 
and then try to click this as quickly as possible just to give us an idea as to how fast this is. Boom. Let's call that 25 seconds. Now let's take those same files, copy, and let's put them on the external and see how long that takes. Wow, so let's call that 30, well, 30, 31 seconds. So, so it is definitely not that much slower to use the MIWO, and that's M-A-I-W-O, USB uh, 4, which is in this case Thunderbolt 4, external kit combined with a Silicon Power 4 terabyte UD90, M.2 PCIe SSD on an M.2 connector inside here via Thunderbolt. That is impressive. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We would super appreciate it. And if you, have, you can also subscribe, we'd love that. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.